What's up guys, XP Mods here and welcome to part 3 of episode 4. So we are planning the break in to that place I thought it was called again. Basically this like area. Check out what I found in the garage. Where Hatchet, hacksaw, some other fucked tools. Up. And we're gonna break in. sneak First. into there. Thing and, and get a battery, some fuel a look at the boat. for the boat, a and so, so we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes some it back alive, for the doctor. there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? There we go. Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. Crawford, that's it. Little fuckers. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decision's made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Giddy will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. So we uh, ranked up to killing humans quick, didn't we? What the fuck? Shit. Here. Oh, they're all dead, maybe. Get inside, fast! Guess is as good as mine. What the oh. hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. 
We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not?
What could possibly go wrong here? Where the hell is Molly? Hmm. Molly, you out here? Yeah, she uh, a bit suspicious, isn't it? She knew where the medical bay was. Or whatnot. Mm, you know, maybe she was here before. But the others were as well, and they were cool with sitting. Did you see that silhouette? What the fuck? But, okay, that was just fucking weird. Oh. Auto shop must be down this way. So it is down this way. Okay. Might need to do a bit of climbing here. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Or not. <laughs> Damn. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. We need something to get that door open and all we can use. So. Zombies. Do not get too close. Whoa. Mine. Nice to see you. Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? Calm the fuck down! What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well... It has personal. Shit, no. <sighs> Again, there's there's way more of this story than this she's way. telling us. Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Hey. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Shit.
Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. I don't know why she's Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. <sighs> well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Can't reach it up there. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Locked. No way in. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? <laughs> That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off! Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Great, now what? Skylight. It's shot. Shoot it out. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Chicken, jump! 
What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Can't open it without determination. other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Okay. So Save her ass, aren't we? wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Uh -oh. so looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. 
Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. So we've got to find something that's going to give us that code. Uh, it's not going to be on the bed, is it? Or it's going to be on the copier. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Right. Papers. Anything? Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination. Of crap. What's this? Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? And we've got tape, so we're gonna need something to play that tape with. It's a medical file for right. her name Correa. Uh... Oh, hey. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Uh oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Right. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Let's go back out to the alleyway. And that goes over here. We gotta find that doctor. So it was killed over here. So I think we had to go through here, didn't we? And then we jumped up from here. Whoa! Fucking hell! Shit, kill it, kill it. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I said one. So let's finish this fucker off.
This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh, that's that locker, isn't it? Shit, time to go. Okay, so let's go to that locker. That was here. Locker. The team. See, the combination has got to be on one of these. Okay, let's go back to the camcorder. And let's watch that tape. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, shit. I wonder if that's what started it all. I think we know what happened to Crawford. Yeah. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Maybe she had a child and lost it. Here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Yeah, I kind of want to watch that third tape, to be honest. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? I've already watched this one. I don't want to watch that again. Regulations. Oh, Fuck off. Don't want to watch that again, do I? Come on. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram. I love this game. I actually love this game. It is just amazing. Love it when it just keeps wasting my time. Thank you. Thank you. Great game. Absolutely great. Is it really hard to add a, a back button to like, you know, when you've already watched it once? Is it really that hard? Or do you just not think? Bastards. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I have no choice but to inform Ogres on my Shit show. Game. I'm sorry. Right, so we watch that one. What about the third tape? That's the one I want to watch. There we go.
Oh shit. As it was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. She's yes, drug seeker. We had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Fuck. Well, shit. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Oh, shit. I'm just kidding. Ah. Come on. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. The sister. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on the security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? <sighs> Guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. Oh, shit. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules but. started coming down. But, no but, but. one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. Uh. And by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. What's gonna happen here? Oh, Jesus! Shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh shit. oh shit. What a mole. Nice. Ask it. Oh shit. Shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Good one, Glenn. I'll fuck that one up royally. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! 
This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. Shit. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. What? Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh, shit. <laughs> Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. <laughs> Not the time, Molly. <laughs> this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did? He's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? It ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get shit. left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Oh. I vote we leave. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends Aww. behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's made that easier, hasn't it? <laughs> Thing to say with us now, at least. <laughs> oh, yeah, she got fucked up. Damn. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs! Shooting there, buddy. Nice. Nice. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. Don't even look. Don't even look. <gasps> oh, what? Come on. As if. Oh, that's what I was doing. Oh, I gotta look up. Let's go, let's go. Nice one. Oh, 
Oh, come on, man. I was like a second away. Fuck off. I'll piss off with this shit again. Fucking game. Come on. Oh, that's her thing you're going. She ain't gonna be happy about that. Come on. It's all right, Cliff. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Oh shit. Oh, ben, no! <gasps> Come on, Ben. I got you, buddy. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, no. Come on, you can do Come on, dude. Fight or flight. Fight. No, come on. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Please. Oh, fuck off, Kenny. No, he doesn't deserve to die, does he? Jesus Christ. Come on, he's just a kid himself. We both know. No, Ben. No. No. Let me Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. No. Come on, come on. Come on. Fucking pull him up. Come on. Yes. Come on now. Let's get the fuck out of here quick. Right, man. Come on. You don't deserve to die because you made a few stupid mistakes. All right. You're a bit dopey, but Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna let you die, am I? Not that heartless. Poor dude. Krista, everything okay? Oh me. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -hmm. uh, He's alright. Hey. Alright. Already? Well. This. We got you. Medicine. Let's just uh. Get through this shitty cutscene. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start. Or such it might be. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. This might be the end of the chapter. Maybe now's a good time Absolute for you whatever. and me to have a little talk in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. With this plan of yours, 
Putting everyone on a boat with no destination? Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. Need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Oh, he loves her like a daughter, doesn't he? Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Oh. Oh no. Time. Clementine? What's going on here then? <gasps> it's a 
I'm just gonna let it, let it. Nah, nah, nah. Clementine? Clementine! Shit. Oh, she's done a runner. Yeah. Or oh, she's been kidnapped. <gasps> oh, shit, he just got bit. He's got to amputate it, man. Fuck, that's the only way they got. That's the only thing they did. They got amputated. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Fuck, he's just got to hide Clementine? it, man. She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a Walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. Oh man, she's just. Radio on the ground out here. That's oh, all I found. Fuck. There's no chance she's either she got just you killed or own. the person that kidnapped no her got you killed. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Either way, mate, Last if you don't amputate, you're fucked. Offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch! I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with yeah. me? Lee, I'm sorry. We can't. It's too risky for us. Krista, come on. I know. But Lee's asking us to put our trust in him. And that's just too hard for me. I hope you understand. I really am sorry. I hope you find her. But you're gonna have to do it. <sighs> I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Lee... You know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. What the fuck are you on about? i literally been helping this dude. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. Lee, I know you had my back when we first teamed up. You really looked out for me and mine. But ever since then, you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. What a cunt. What about you, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. I can't make that decision for you, Ben. You have to decide for yourself. I think maybe it's best I stayed behind. I know you don't have a lot of confidence in me. It's okay, I understand. But you've got enough to worry about with Clementine without me screwing things up. Then I guess that's how it's gotta be. Fuck. We'll get the boat that's out cold, the man. Figure we can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Good luck, Lee. I mean that. You yeah, man, bunch of fucking two-faced assholes. I've helped all of you out, and this is what you do. I even shot your kid for you, mate, and took the burden of shooting the other kid in the attic. And you can't even come help me. That's betrayal, mate. That is betrayal.
Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Fuck. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tongue. Dickhead. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Oh, and we didn't even get a trailer for the next one. Cliffhanger. All right, well, we'll uh, find out in episode five, which will be tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.